Welcome to my crib. Okay, so after you close my door to the left is a wardrobe. I stuck my dresser inside the wardrobe to make room. And if you open it, I just have some sheets up top, some jackets, and then my dresser with all my clothes in it. And then I have towels, washcloths, and in the blue crate, I have washing machine stuff. I just have some clothes and some shoes. I have more shoes over there. I have tops, bottoms, snacks in the bottom drawer. Cheez-Its are the best. No one can argue that. Then I just have my workout bag right here. Don't have anything in it because I haven't worked out in a hot minute. And then I just have a full body mirror on the back of my closet door. And then I just have a bean bag with my school bag on it. I got it from Walmart, I think. The bean bag. Then it's just an overview of my desk, and I used an Urban Outfitters bag for wall decor. Then I just have some water for my coffee maker, and then I have like mugs, a bunch of stuff in here. Mugs, it's really unorganized. Mugs, bags, plates, silverware, to-go cups, paper towels, anything you need, like kitchen supplies in this little cube. It's definitely a great storage area if you're going to college. Then I just have my group fitness schedule. I had the calendar up. And then an overview of my desk. And then I just have some pictures of my friends and I. All I did was just shrink these photos on like a 4x6 piece of paper and then I cut them out. There's probably an easier way to do it, but. And then I just have my lamp, Starbucks obviously, the office. Then I have some books for school. And then up above I just have my bathroom stuff, toothbrush, toothpaste, flossers, contacts, all the stuff that makes me smell good or I try to make myself smell good. And then the top drawer, I just have more school supplies and some electronic, like, cables. And then in the bottom, I have more, like, cleaning supplies, um, medicine, vitamins. I have six plants, which is really great. They're so beautiful. And then I have my salt lamp, and I have these like fragrance beads that are really great. Then here's an overview of my bed. It's very blue. I have an elephant picture that my sister gave me. So that's my bed. And then I have my purse just hanging, laundry, and then the green bin is recycling. And this is under my bed, I just have a lot of storage areas and I have my fridge also. In college you use under the bed storage so much, it's so helpful. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes. Okay, I need this to be like a little scarier hey what's up you guys yes this is pretty scary don't you think you're a dumbass you're probably wondering julia it's 10 24 right now should you be in bed yes i should be in bed so why aren't you in bed i'm procrastinating doing homework you're a dumbass i have so many exams and i'm doing this So I'm going to be talking about my haunted door. This thing is actually super creepy. Okay, so let me give you a history lesson. My dorm was built in 1895, 
I don't know how old that makes it, but it makes it over a hundred years old, is what I know. You're a dumbass. My dorm was originally part of the med school at my college. We have a very famous ghost in my dorm. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but because I want this to be sort of a fun-ish video. If you know the name of my dorm, you can honestly just like Google it and so many things will pop up. You can look at it yourself. So if you want to find that information, you can definitely find it online. But he passed away in my dorm around 1920. And then we had another death in the dorm. So our dorm is haunted. So people have reported mirrors falling off the wall, posters being ripped down, footsteps, um, lights flickering, all the typical ghost stuff. Honestly, I've never had an experience like that. It's been a great experience in my dorm. The attic though is very creepy. I personally would never go there by myself. Um, what else is creepy? In conclusion, I don't think my dorm's haunted. It's really interesting being in this dorm. I was kind of scared at first, but it's not that creepy. It's not that creepy. I'm aware that I look like crap right now, and it's midnight, and... I am a little creeped out because I'm editing this video, of course, in my haunted dorm, and... Something went like this on my head. Ghost? You never know. I'm a little freaked out right now, but it's fine. Um, I'm not going to sleep tonight anyways, so. Pray for me. This video was way too serious. I'm like freaking out right now because it was so serious. So I need to think of something funny to do.